do we know about the man police say pulled the trigger? A man investigators say is bold enough to steal an officer's patrol car, leaving him bleeding in the road. Well, we know this is not his first time in jail and that he was actually on parole. He has served time in prison for property crime and was under Department of Corrections supervision until 2018. KXY 4's Katie Curry joins us now. And with why, Katie, this criminal past did not forecast something like this. Jonathan Renfro turned 28 in two weeks, but he's already sp spent several years in prison. Still, none of what he's been convicted of would have given Sergeant more reason to fear for his life. The information I received so far, this doesn't look like it was an ambush style attack or anything else. This was, this was just a bad guy doing bad guy stuff and our officers doing what they were trained to do. And that's to try to keep our community safe. Now this man who has been in trouble his entire adult life could spend life in prison or get the death penalty if convicted. Here's a look at what he's been convicted of in the past. In 2008, Renfro was convicted of grand theft but was only sentenced to probation. In 2009, he was found guilty of assault and battery and grand theft. Court records show that while he was in the Latah County Jail, he assaulted a corrections officer, kicking him as if he was trying to get out of handcuffs on his way out of court. A month later, he was again sentenced to prison time on additional grand theft charges. He was in prison from 2009 until 2014. Last July, he was released on parole, where he was to remain supervised until 2018. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.